In this video, I'm going to do a short demonstration of the principle, uh, fundamental principle of uh, the static balance of a uh, component after a request from Kevin. Um, when, when doing a force and moment analysis on one component, it's always very important to remember the, uh, the rules that we apply. The rules that we apply is, the, is often called Newton's law and it's also called the fundamental principle of static balance. This principle says that any component that is in static equilibrium um, um, will have um, some forces applied to it and some moments applied to it. And if it is in static equilibrium, then two rules are, apl are uh, applicable. The first rule is that the sum of the forces uh, applied on these components should be zero and the sum of the moments applied to this component should also be zero. So this is a vectorial sum, it's not a variable sum, it's a sum of vectors. So it means the chain of vectors should be equal to zero. So for example, uh, if we have uh, a component uh, like this one, and uh, I create on it some forces. So I'm going to say uh, this force is uh, applied like this. Then I may have a force applied like this. And then I will have another one applied uh, like this, let's say. So when we apply some forces like this, we need to, um, we, we, we need to be uh, really um, um, rigorous about which component we are analyzing. Here, the component that we are analyzing is the blue component and we have three forces applied on it. So we have made an analysis of all forces that are applied on it. Then we need to find out what, what are the unknowns in, on our forces. So we may say, for example, this force is known in direction and value. So I lock simply its uh, direction and its value, we know it's 97.7 newtons. Then we may say, for example, this force is known in uh, direction. It's at an angle of 40, but the value is unknown. So I unlock the, the, the value. And then this force here is unknown in uh, direction and value. So the direction is uh, not set and the value also is not set. So when I have defined this uh, equilibrium here, you can see uh, when I have unlocked what I don't know, I have three degrees of freedom. This force is not known, this force is not known, and the orientation here is not known. So um, I'm going to apply the rule of static balance. I say sum in X and Y of all forces should be zero. So sum of this force, this force, and this force should be zero. So I'm left with one degree of freedom because the system has made the sum in X of forces and the sum in Y of forces. So I have only one degree of freedom left, which is the sum of moments. Sum of moments will lock one degree of freedom. So the sum of moments is calculating the sum of the moments of all forces in one point and equals this sum to zero. So I make the sum of moments of this force, this force and this force at the main point that we have here on the left. So you can see that when I have done the sum of moments, the system now has zero degrees of freedom. So now all the forces are calculated in terms of uh, value. Uh, and uh, for the first one, we have set uh, the value already. So we don't have to calculate it uh, anymore. So it's important to remember that uh, this button here, sum in X and Y, does the sum of forces in X and Y. What does it mean? Is that it, it decomposes all the forces in a X vector and a Y vector. So here I have created the measurements in X and Y of the forces. And we can see actually um, if we do, for example, 86.7 plus 138.4, we are going to end up with 225.13. So if I go here on my calculator and I do this calculation, so I take the X component of this force, it's uh, 86.712, uh, 
plus this component 138.421 uh, okay we end up at uh, 225.133 which is the value of the x component of this force so sum in x and y is equal to zero and second thing we have done is sum of moments so if we do the sum of moments in this point it means this force multiplied by this distance plus this force multiplied by this distance here plus this force multiplied by this distance will be equal to zero simply so when we do the sum of moments it's important to remember to uh, select a point so it means uh, if I erase here the sum of moments and I redo it we have one degree of freedom we do sum of moments of this, this and this then we type enter and when you have typed enter you click on the point that is the center of the sum